Pillbox, Akabako. Cleat. Corn Cleat's really good. I don't know if it's that good. Toolbox and Akabako? Toolbox and Akabako is kind of interesting. Fuck it. I'm doing this so I can get Dramatic Entrance. I'll take Hand of Greed too. Already paid for itself. Kind of. Not really. You're told in your office to take five minutes out every hour to not burn out. Oh, yeah, but my job's easy. I'm just playing video games. So I don't really have to worry about stuff like that. Miniature K. Oh shit, all for one's pretty good here. Hey, Heratrox. There's already been one of those. God damn it, all for one. You were you were the chosen one. I believed in you. Shuriken Claw? Maybe not. Maybe not quite. Strength Sentries isn't too bad. Too busy pogging off. <laughs> I lost one damage on the other two. I have a Kabako. Yeah, 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 I did it. I did do it the right way. <laughs> We're good. We're good. I was a fool to question past Jorbs. Meal ticket courier. Hmm. I am a fan of Cold Snap generally. I don't really know what. Campfire does for me at the moment. I upgrade self repair or something. I don't know if I care. I gotta stick question marks. Does Arena spawn in this act? Arena should spawn in this act. They should put Arena in Act 1.
I would like the wizard to die. I would like the wizard to die. Oh, oh we got there. is okay against Guardian. I don't know. I don't care. Both of the question marks were hallway fights. Kind of fucked up. Hard draw, so turbo is kind of eh. <sighs> kind of eh. I do have a Doom and Gloom. This might be a decent Chaos pick out. I think I just upgrade Static Discharge and I'm happy enough. a hand upgrade or a dramatic entrance what the fuck computers are strange magical boxes they should not be trifled with and they're not meant to be understood That's a shuriken proc. What a sweet card. thought about whether I wanted to play that zap. It feels like it was fine. I want to relearn French. I want to go travel somewhere. France would do, but like anywhere else in the world would be fine too. Jorb's travel show, one. God, no, I don't want to work while I do it. Get back. People in Paris are mean. People in Paris were always nice to me. I don't know why. Interesting. I haven't had a pyramid on defect for a while, I feel like. I don't think it's very good here. I'm gonna take it anyway. The beauty in traveling is bragging about it to others. God, no. When I travel, I have no desire to talk to anyone about anything. 
Most of the time that I travel, I like spend four hours lying in bed in the hotel reading a book. I think for me, there's just like something about being in a different space where it's like, oh, I don't have responsibilities. I can just relax. And uh, it's kind of sweet. Isn't Pyramid without card draw pretty good in this situation? I don't know. We'll find out. I guess we'll find out. The problem with it is that I don't have any energy. Can we speak other languages? Not really. I don't know why that really lets me like competently communicate with other human beings. Arguably, I don't even speak English that well. I know about the laser kiwi flag. I have seen it. I'm gonna take another cold snap, I think. Shuriken Barrage. That's fun. I don't think I want it. Do my glam. Thoughts on just playing that again? I think so. Do I often get rid of my money in this encounter? Absolutely not. This is just an elite fight where the fight's easier than usual. You should not be giving away your money in it. Go for the eyes is fine here, I think. Works with Shuriken, works with Pyramid. Boot sequence is good. Panic button's okay. Panic button might be better than okay. Card removes very, very good. Don't think the relics are doing it for me. Force field doesn't work. Almost works. Dramatic entrances here, like legit. Legit dramatic entrance. It's kind of good. It's kind of good. 16 AOE damage, turn one. I already have a boot sequence. Did you know if you get more than five and eight cards, you start drawing more than five cards in your turn one hand? Like up until 10? I'm pretty sure that's true. That's true, right? <laughs> I'm relatively confident that that's true. We could go for it. This could be the run. Get some chills, some boot sequences. It's not a very good turn one hand, honestly. <laughs> Is Omori ever worth just buying? Sure. It does something. Kinda. Gotta take dramatic entrance. <laughs> I I'm more taking dramatic entrance because I want dramatic entrance than anything else. <laughs> Am I not an educator? Don't I have to try to educate you? Oh, that's that's a lost cause. <laughs> have you read chat recently? No, 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 no. Y'all are great, obviously. Um, interesting. Bullseye first. I can probably just kill. Of Akabaka. I don't know, does that look lethal? Doesn't look lethal. 
Dual cast hits really hard, though. It is lethal. Yeah, yeah, easily, actually. The defect. Look at you go. Steam Barrier, Sweeping Beam. I already have a Doom and Gloom and a Dramatic Entrance. I think I'm okay without Sweeping Beam. Yeah, this fight seems just worse than the other fight. Weird, huh? I don't know what's going on. I didn't even like the other fight. What is this bullshit? <laughs> I don't know if I actually want an unupgraded defend next turn. Probably not. You said I am chat four or five times at work today. That's cool. I don't think I could have a different job because I would just say hi chat over and over again at it. I feel like that would be problematic. Take a beam cell with the go for the eyes and the shuriken. I really have no card draw. Kind of into another cell repair. I don't know how I'd be champ. Shuriken maybe? Maybe I should take beam cell then. There'll be time. Probably time to get something that beats champ. I could get away with it if I were a vet. In XCOM, um, Bradford has a line where he talks about how glad he is that we have vets on our side, and I was so confused by that line until I worked out he meant veteran soldiers, which took me a long time. Like, long enough that I should maybe be concerned about, like, how long it took. But anyway. Uh, now that I have worked that out, I am, like, tilted the other way. So when you said that that would work if you were a vet, I assumed you meant, like, a combat veteran. I was trying to work out why a combat veteran would be able to say hi chat all the time. didn't quite make sense to me. <laughs> Dig? Thoughts? Dual cast upgrades okay? What is this upgrade too? 12. That's so much. I don't think I have relevant scaling upgrades, which is the thing that I want against Champ. And I feel like the stuff that isn't scaling I'm doing okay with, so I think I can get away with a dig here. At least made a sign is great. Mm. I guess I want to rebound Demon Gloom.
Yes, Ram, thanks for gifting a sub to Nightbot. Dual cast upgrade would have been good though, huh? Panache! So close. Still have two self repairs. I have double loops, so if I just put the dark orb in front with a bullseye, maybe, that'll kill comfortably next turn. Oh, I had panache too. Well, I mean, none of it matters. Does it matter? How much is this? 48? I can block for 43. Forty-five. I'm at full health. This is going well. I wonder if Runic Pyramid's strong. Data Disc, that seems good. Turbo's weird because I have no card draw. I have no energy and no card draw. I think a Claw. I think having one Turbo is just a pretty good idea. There are a variety of things that that can do for you. Digging. Cool. That's also well worth a dig. Now we need eight extra innate cards. Yeah. Yeah, I made the deck work worse, didn't I? Disaster. 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 I can't do it. Sun Glitters is too good. Uh, genetic Algorithm is very good with Pyramid. Very, very good with Pyramid. I'm a little bit behind on it, but like, might still just be worth. Double bug, thanks for the five months. Number one scrub lord, thanks for the three months. I would have happily taken the compile driver there too. Corsair read. I have both self repairs. Okay, right. so we just win somehow. Good fight. Humans are characterized by their advanced cognitive abilities, including the ability to reason, think abstractly, and use language. Whether or not humans are dancers is a subjective matter and can vary depending on an individual's personal interests and abilities. Thank you, robot friend. Enlightening. Looks like I should have a letter opener. Where's my letter opener? Thank 
you wait too long to realize Mind Blast wasn't AoE. Did you play it during this time period? Did you like play it and it didn't hit AoE and you were like, that's weird, it bugged or something like that. Leonard, how are you? Hope you're doing well. Oh, the animation looks like it should, I see. Man. <laughs> yes, I killed him too fast. Telegram will be good here. Gets back turbo, gets back beam cell. Darkness probably deals more than Sunder. Oh, you just never picked it. Understood. Relatable, actually. Did it. I played genetic algorithm. Fusion's kind of interesting for purposes of being infinite someday. I don't have to upgrade it. I don't have to upgrade anything here. I don't entirely know how I win this fight. Maybe focus pot. Okay. That should help somehow. I don't really know how, but we'll work it out. There are a lot of cards I cannot play here, if I want to keep that. Clearly you're a sexy baby and not the monster on the hill. Sam. Oops, yeah, I think it's six months. Aw. Hope you're doing well. I probably don't want to play Static Discharge. You know, I could... Let's just do this then. This will speed up the fight so much, and I have 20 self-repair, and I have block cards. So it should be fine.
Alright. Biased cog's pretty good. That is a pretty good card. I think Astro's fine. The effect has plenty of energy generating cards. I already have one turbo and I can take more. This one's probably fine too. I like this because it draws me Core Surge and Bias Cog a bit faster, maybe. Oh, Fusion makes energy. Stack is not even that bad with Pyramid. Not sure I win this fight, he said. Look, I mean... <laughs> if I thought while playing the runs, they would take longer, so... <laughs> so <laughs> pick your poison. Apotheosis definitely helped too, yeah. So sad that I have boot sequence, but not the boot. I don't know why I haven't played Biased Cog yet. It doesn't make any sense. Zero block. <laughs> Charge battery is actually okay here. Charge battery overwhelmingly pickable. How to not kill this? Seems difficult. Extremely difficult. Impossible? Impossible? I should have... It's okay. Turbo and the scaling cards. Big deck. Thank you.
for one of every card. Maybe. This works. It works when the orb's passive triggers. So this triggers at the end of turn. Fusion orb triggers at the beginning of turn. You can actually get both halves if you are clever about it. You can um, have a fusion orb in front at the start of the turn, and then have a different orb in front at the end of the turn, and it will proc like twice in one turn, basically. Cheating. I'm okay. I will be led away in handcuffs. I sure drew a roar. I sure draw a lot of so so cards while playing this deck. I have a lot of energy and not a lot of card draw, but I don't think I want to heat sinks. I don't really know what I'm doing. <laughs> I'm looking for the stuff that scales you, and I am not finding it. It's mostly what I'm doing. to just flip the table. It's a neat idea. Not sure it's what I want to go with this time. But... The bomb. Makes zero block. It's not very much block. A compile driver. Oh wait, I already played it. Oh good. I think I had. Keep getting offered heat sinks. I think hologram might be more the card draw I want right now. I could dig, or I could get a relic, and a card reward, and gold, and a potion, or I could dig. Shovel stats? We have to think about shovel stats here. I think I'll take the right.
That deck's probably not very good against Giant HUD. You can't flip the table, like, for real, but you can do it as a joke, and it's pretty funny. That's my opinion on table flipping. Six nine. I want to dual cast this turn for bullseye anyway, right? Biased cognition. You have not arrived yet. It's, uh, still an evolving situation out here. I think if I panic button this turn, I probably get to kill next turn, yeah. I just make this huge and then dual cast it. That seems reasonable. Number of turns later. I got a bronze scales and a defragment plus. Take those. I already fought this. Remember when I fought this? It wasn't that long ago. that probably drawing focus before the last five cards of the deck is very novel it's a new experience There was no particular reason to get the void there, I just could, so I did. I 
Did I play all the stuff? This is... Gotan Tango Project. Tango Gotan Project, something like that. Recursion Plus. Continue working on the have one of every card plan. Which character has the highest win rate with one of every card? It might be Defect, actually. I could see it being Defect. Stack all for one. All the focus cards synergize together. Like, everything kind of works. Um, hmm. I just have the one artifact charge, so maybe it's a capacitor over a bioscog. Capacitor is really good here. I'm gonna run to the bathroom, I'll be right back. Alright. 
remember when Jorbs was still on camera. Such a long time ago. I don't get to upgrade it, probably. But presumably, I will just get Apotheosis from Toolbox every time. So it won't matter. Does this ever upgrade all? I have so much sustain. I have self repairs, I have meal ticket, I have regen pot. If I did upgrade all, I would be getting bias cog capacitor, go for the eyes. I just feel like the runs that matter will cast a little bit. Sweet PJs, thank you. Much work. I <laughs> could split. Could split. It doesn't matter. Maybe I should have done the math though. I thought the song escalates very quickly. It's a really cool music video. I think the music video makes the narrative of the song a lot more clear. One of everything? Do I remove hologram because I have two of them? Go to another shop. I don't know. That was pretty shit. The effect has really good shops down. One or two of those. Just one. <laughs> I'm down to only having one cold snap now. <laughs> the largest deck I've ever played that had Highlander was. Oh, I have two capacitors. Fuck. I've ruined everything. I have ruined everything. Carter moves good. There are some pretty good relics here, though. Like, um, that one. That one's pretty good. Except when it isn't. Like, I'm strong enough that I should be able to win to both types of art AI. The big attack first or the big attack second. And this one's bad if the big attack is second. <laughs> Unless I got Panic Button too or something. Like I just need to draw Panic Button in my opener basically. Yeah, that's probably, probably enough. Probably enough of a reason to take it.
imagine not even having the boot. Card, I think, has good design, but it isn't good. I think a lot of cards that aren't good have good design. I don't think whether a card is good or not has much to do with how well it's designed. So, like, all of them? I don't know. I think reprograms, like, a well-designed card that is shit. In a Vanity Fair interview from 2005, I said that my favorite card was Pressure Points. I don't remember it happening, but that doesn't mean it isn't true. Pyramid. I've been watching Jorb since 1978, back when I was on Channel 2, Channel 2 News with Jorbs. I remember it well. I was on the channel that you had to set your TV to to play Nintendo. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> What is the point of using recursion on that? Like, it's not like I'm ever playing it again. Oh. <laughs> I was like, I'll just keep this really strong dark orb for the next time I do it. Yeah. Not so much. some solid trolling that did all. It's a solid troll. I do have a lot of powers. I don't have to play them though. I kind of have to play them, don't I? Yeah, maybe that's not true.
Take zero? Zero seems like a good number to take. How much is card removed now? I don't know. There's lots of stuff I can buy though, so end of greed is definitely relevant. a big number. Gosh. Poor Surge, you are not in my hand. enough money to remove capacitor. I have two holograms as well, and two compile drivers. Sorry, I've ruined everything. Now what do I do? Sometimes you question my commitment to sparkle motion. Should I know what that is? Oh, Donnie Darko. I, have, I watched Donnie Darko one time. It was okay. I have not watched it since. Was it okay? I don't know, it's kind of dry. A little boring. Why was there a weird rabbit? Like, what was going on in that movie? Travel. That's what I think. <laughs> Maybe it actually was good. I got the play. Act form. I didn't use hand of greed. Shut. That's unfortunate. A capacitor seems good, so does a biased cog. I think capacitor's slightly better because I have focus potion. I don't know. Also, I can more consistently um, play the capacitor when I draw it. Feels like a relevant thing. I think mirror defrag is what I want to do here. So let's do it. Now, let's die to turn two of the Act 4 Elite fight. It's been such a long time since I last did that.
Wait, they didn't full block? Oh my god, I did the math wrong. Okay. Alright, cool. Cool. Yep, nice. Nice. That's a lot of damage on this turn. This turn there's no guarantee that they attack even a little bit. Wonder if I have to focus pop. Let's eat health immediately. Could have gone better, this one. a duplication pot. Hmm. Can I use that for something? Wait a second. I wanted to channel these. Health. I do have Helix. Seven T block. This is fifty six, sixty three, eighty three. It is seventy. Still enough. It's not enough. Forgot about a fucking thing. Gold plated cables. So I took two more. But I didn't quite die. I don't think this does anything. I just need to find my focus. Blind is very good. We artifact bot for sure. Defend defrag loop probably. Looks okay. Hmm. 
two dolphins, one against the heart. I didn't know that. Okay, this does work, yeah. Be right to rebound cold snap. I think it is. You bandits. Poison Mouse. Okay, Hologram's actually difficult here. There's an argument for getting lined because I need to get through the artifact charges to survive later. Is that true? I could also just go capacitor hologram cold snap and that seems kind of fun. I think I like that more. And now I'm almost already blocking, right? It's 36 plus 22. to pay bills, but in spite of all the toxicity you encounter every day, how do you prevail? How do you navigate the valleys of despair? <laughs> Are you doing okay? I did write a book. Maybe you would enjoy reading my book. Do you have a turbo I can grab? Still like a reasonable moment to grab turbo. I get a lot out of having more energy this turn. Or at least it feels that way. What am I looking for even? Oh, capacitor plus. Yeah, that's kind of important to find. Shed, but I kind of want this in front next turn. Fucked up. I got the wrong thing. Let's go for this. Still no capacitor or defrag. But we're out of other cards, so I have to find them now. Having uh, rebound for go for the eyes next turn is good. Don't have to play it yet. On scales is doing all my damage.
Can I kill it before it attacks again? Bullseye, cold snap. That was a lot. But then there's like next turn, which I don't have a solution for yet. Turbo's still in there. If I went Doom and Gloom cool headed and that way I just have a storm next turn and it's fine. Weaken it now if I want to draw another card. Don't need to though. And I still have panic button. Maybe. a good defect run. Doing defect things. One of every card. Ish. It's for dinner. Soda. I <laughs> think. You wonder what my win rate with Pyramid is. Very, 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 very high. Pyramid after Act 1. I think it's just kind of hard to lose with Pyramid after Act 1 as any character. 